We were speaking about the program of tonight. So the first part, the uh, prelude, and the second part, uh, the uh, Prokofiev, Prokofiev Sonata, Sonata number eight, eight and, and then Laval's. And Laval's Paravel. Yes. So uh, a program which requires the piano of um, many colors of a huge dynamic range. Um, because normally pianos which are good for the Prokofiev are not so great for the Rachmaninov and vice versa. So, um, but I have to say that having just practiced the entire day on this particular piano, it's, I'm so much looking forward to the concert. It's, um, it's basically everything I could wish for. So um, it's a big joy to be able to, to have a piano such, such as this. Yes, I'm very happy about this because this is, uh, is uh, exactly what I would like uh, that happens with uh, with the piano i mean the piano must be uh, must be uh, must react to any kind of uh, repertory mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is uh, what we are looking to do and mm -hmm. i think that uh, we are very close to this i mean result. I, have, I have a question when a piano uh, comes out of of the factory si. do you know already if it's going to be a special kind of piano or is it something that is only uh, apparent after a few years have passed? Uh, each piano is different. This is something that uh, we cannot absolutely change because, uh, uh, you know, the piano is made with wood and wood uh, even if you are using the same wood for the, s the same components, uh, always is different. Always different. Uh, and uh, this is natural. Of course, uh, uh, the combination of different uh, elements uh, sometimes make uh, uh, some piano, uh, when, when start, uh, uh, maybe more interesting than mm -hmm. another one. And uh, this is something that uh, we cannot avoid, of course. Uh, we, we follow the piano during the construction, and there is a moment uh, during the construction when we are able to hear the first sound that are coming from the piano. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a certain moment uh, in, in the middle of a construction that is very important. Uh, and normally uh, the uh, technician that is in charge uh, to create, uh, uh, to do this uh, first operation, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes is like uh, when the baby is born, <laughs> no? There is uh, yes, the doctor uh, mm -hmm. says, oh, the baby is born, look <laughs> now, says, oh, it's beautiful, <laughs> it's not beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, really the moment where we start uh, to hear the, f the, the first sound and then from the piano. And, then, and then we start to have some idea and to give some judge mm -hmm. how will be at the end of the piano. Right. And at that point, are you still able to influence the sound, or is it something which is already... In some way, we are able uh, to, to influence the sound, yes. And uh, we prepare that uh, uh, maybe at the end of the piano, maybe is, we be not so like uh, the other that is better. Mm -hmm. And uh, w we can do something, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can take care f more for the hammers, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. We can take care more, for example, uh, for the down beating. Uh, there is several, uh, mm. uh, several things that we can touch they can adjust in it. order to have some the better results. But sometimes there are some piano that I, the, they are prima donne. Yes, they're like, and well, this is, uh, <laughs> this is one of them. <laughs> um, you said, um, uh, you said that the piano is interesting. It's, it's such a, um, um, an appropriate word, because often what many pianists, and I, um, I'm also looking um, in a piano, is not so much a perfection, because sometimes it's technically perfect, but you don't have this kind of connection. It's a personality. It's when you play something and you feel that the music that comes back is coming back having gone through the piano. That is, it is, it is like a reaction of the piano to what you are doing. And as with people, the more um, complex this personality, the more interesting the interaction you have got with the piano. That is to say that sometimes a piano, which is even not 100% perfect technically, can give you more satisfaction musically, uh, artistically, because 
the way it makes you play, the ideas it suggests to you while you are on stage, they are something which you wouldn't have thought about otherwise. So it is something which lets you create music in a new, in a new way. And um, I've played on this particular Fazioli uh, three or four times already. And um, I've said this, this is entirely this kind of piano. So um, See, it, it is true that uh, the, the best piano is not perfect. It is absolutely true. Uh, we can say, like the um, one very beautiful woman, that actress, uh, uh, we can say she, she is beautiful, but she knows perfect. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the beauty not perfect, not perfect. Yes. They are the best. The no? best, yeah. Okay, this it is one example. <laughs> but uh, in the piano, uh, happens the same. This morning, uh, I was uh, trying one old piano an old, old for our history, 25 years old mm -hmm. piano. Uh, How old is Fazioli? Uh, now it's 33 years old. 33 this years piano old. So uh, was 25 years old. And uh, of course, uh, they was tuning the piano. And uh, I realized that it was not perfect because on the, on the treble, on the discant uh, was a little, uh, still uh, uh, a little hard. Mm -hmm. But uh, the whole reaction uh, of the instrument was very nice mm -hmm. for me because uh, uh, on uh, performing something, uh, I had uh, the I wanted to change something on the um, on the color uh, of the piece, and then I think that when the piano give to you the suggestion to change something, mm -hmm. I think that this is the best moment. Yes. Because he's giving you more advice. You say, now I can change this, you can try and something happens, you know? So it means that for you as a piano maker, there is also this kind of interaction with, with your pianos. Yes, when I play the piano and uh, I feel that the piano can help me in organizing the music, mm -hmm. in organized color, uh, in organized the architecture of, of the piece. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, uh, I think this is the right, the right moment because mm -hmm. uh, this is something that can be helpful for the for the pianist in order to create the music. Absolutely. And of course, when this personality is backed with the kind of action that we've got on Fazioli, there is really very little one could wish the, the, for. The action anymore. is, uh, is uh, the, the mechanical uh, uh, side of the piano. Yes. Though that it is also important. You it know, is if, important. If you've got an, it is important. The keyboard which is uneven, notes which are not playing, yes. notes which are louder than others, then no, 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 it's I difficult know. to adjust. So yeah. this kind of lightness, it's, yes. um, it's wonderful. But you know, then we are always looking to improve this, uh, 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 this, uh, this communication, we can say that uh, it is exists uh, from the, pian uh, uh, from the, the piano the to the pianist. Mm -hmm. This is very important. This, the communication must be uh, the best, must be something that. So, is so you have some ideal in mind which you're going towards, or you are just doing new things and looking to, to find the best? I mean, is there such a thing as an ideal piano? You know, uh, the sound. Uh, uh, that we are looking for is one ideal sound, and uh, you know, I think never we reach. But uh, we are always looking to to go closer and closer, and uh, we have some idea how to improve this communication. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are working on this direction. Uh, on which way we are working uh, with the materials, with the soundboard, with the thickness, with the with the equilibrium. Uh, of the components, mm -hmm. uh, yes. with the way to can uh, assemble the instrument, uh, even uh, if you want uh, with the materials, mm -hmm. because uh, even uh, the luck that we use for the soundboard, mm -hmm. even this is important. I see. So, so you experiment with different. Yes, because small things, small things, many uh, um, small things can the... create uh, uh, better situation. Uh, now I am thinking to many, many. Yes, small okay. details that can can improve this, improve uh, this, this uh, communication. But, but I have to say that for me, this particular piano, I'm repeating myself, but I just can't help it. It's um, it's very close to my idea of an ideal piano, because um, not only it has got 
a personality, it's got a wonderful action. But the beauty, the sheer beauty of every single note, as I was showing you in the just just the very first note of, yes. of the Schumann, the balance of the voices, the the color of the harmony, and just the the, the tone of this single G, it's, I yes. I find it really inspiring and beautiful, and I'm. What is important it. is uh, the noblesse of sound. Yes, uh, the beauty. No? I remember that the best compliment I had many years ago in 1999 was from uh, Friedrich Gulda, mm -hmm. that uh, he was performing the last concert, uh, and we had the possibility to give one, uh, one or piano for the, the concert, uh, and uh, he was very happy. And what he brought, uh, like dedication, per uh, uh, Mr. Fazioli, uh, the uh, fabricator, the builder yes. of the most noble, noble piano. piano. This was for me <laughs> a shock because uh, maybe so then I understood maybe that I reach. Yes. <laughs> the, well, the I can only results. I can only wish for more pianos like this one, and I I sincerely wish you many many more achievements like this one. And thank you. My big thanks. And also to you. Eh? Because uh, uh, we must do a good piano, but we, we must have also good pianist. Eh? Many thanks. This is very important. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks.